guys, welcome back to our channel, Walk and Talk with Jesus. This is Samia. I trust you're all doing well. First of all, happy Easter, happy Resurrection Day. And this is the day that, you know, gives us the hope for us to live, um, to, to know that we are sin free, that we have freedom in the Lord and that we are saved, you know. So many things start from the Resurrection Day. And, and of course, every Sunday and every day is it definitely like, you know, we can consider it as Easter. Because he's he's alive for us every day, and the tomb is empty. So um, that gives me so much joy, you know, in the heart. And this morning, when I was at church, all that I was able to think was like, you know, every situation that we think is dead in our lives is actually coming back to life. And and Holy Spirit was reminding me something about Lazarus. You know, he was uh, Jesus. Uh, rose him up from the dead after three days on the fourth day because in those days Jews used to believe that until three days after the death the soul would remain here and there and you know in the premises um, and and there is a possibility for them to come back to life because the soul was around you know uh, so Jesus wanted Lee, was, uh, though he was so close to that town he came after uh, three days and he uh, he rose him up on the fourth day so Jews could understand that you know in your belief the soul is gone right now because it's past three days and now still I can bring him back to life so that reminded me Holy Spirit was telling me that you might be thinking that this is not possible anymore the time is past the time is over you know this can't come back to life anymore but but holy spirit was like just like i brought lazarus back from dead to life i'm going to bring each and everything that looks like dead in your life you know back to life and that's what our god is he specialized in that today i want to discuss something really you know important that i felt like you know i actually went through this couple of months before and i thought like you know i just wanted to share this with you guys um it's about a bird a bird called pelican um it, in ancient Europe, they used to believe, like, you know, in, even in the Catholic churches, um, and, and at that time when they published the Bibles, um, they have this symbol of pelican um, on the Bible on the bottom. And, and when I was studying about that, and the reason for that is, I'm going to post some pictures um, probably from Google or somewhere on the site. Um, the reason why it was important i mean i think it was queen victoria if i'm not wrong who asked it to or i don't know who that was if some queen you know of britain um that that made this decision to put this bird of pelican pelican bird on the bible in the bottom and and the reason is really amazing you know they used to believe in the 17th century they used to believe that when there was no food for for the babies for pelicans babies and the babies were about to die uh, of hunger so what the pelican bird used to do is with his with her long beak she would she would poke and and pierce into her own heart and with that blood that comes from her heart um, the children um, below her would be fed by her blood and she would die but she would give life to her young ones her children and that resembles Christ's death, you know. Of course, Pelican is dead uh, with whatever the belief that they had in those days. But here, the Jesus is risen, you know. And that's what gives us so much confidence. That that's what is our hope. Um, but but how beautifully it. I mean, we can learn things from the nature, you know, that that God had made. So this bird. Is, is the symbol of self-sacrifice, uh, the selflessness, you know, that at any cost, this bird wants, as a mother, she wants her children to live. And it's okay for her to die. And that's what Jesus did for us um, 2,000 years uh, ago, that he died for us. He took the place of our sins. He became sin so that we would be forgiven, so that we would come under his forgiveness so um i hope this would encourage you guys i hope this will uh, bless your hearts um just remember um that one act that beautiful act that jesus did on the cross calling your name out 
personally your name out you put yourself and uh, you put your name out there in the words and say that jesus died for me and when you say me put your name jesus died for saumya i would say and and he rose up again for me and he defeated the hell he defeated the satan and he has given that authority to you and me so um to to, to defeat him as well like you know that that victory is in our hands right now so i would encourage you this this easter day to to refocus on that to to rededicate our lives if needed you know uh, to to remember that that jesus died for us and he rose uh, up again and every thing that looks like dead in your life and my life let's believe and let's claim it that they will come back to life again because nothing is impossible to god right the um lord tells to uh sarah in in genesis i guess 15th chapter that is there anything to impossible for me you know so just just claim that let's claim that words right now that nothing is impossible for him and whatever he did for us let's not miss out anything but claim every blessing that he has for us um and one of the best blessings is salvation and all that you got to do is look at this cross believe that he died for you and he rose up again and you are saved and that's the beautiful decision that you could ever make in your life and if you are already saved we are celebrating with you and Jesus celebrates with you but if you know someone that needs this salvation please forward this message and and you talk to them you pray for them and let's be a blessing in their lives thank you for listening thank you for um being with us until now we hope this blessed you you all have a happy easter again you know we just started it here um and if you are on the other side of the world you already ended it but we know that every day is easter so thank you for tuning up um so we hope you have a blessed day uh if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet go ahead and subscribe and please like it if you like this video and do not forget to share with your family friends colleagues neighbors whoever relatives um one word from this whole video if it could help one person that's all this is for uh god bless y'all thank you bye